People in Arneville haven't had running water in more than 24 hours. Justice Henderson spent the day in Arneville trying to get answers on this issue. So what are we supposed to do? Residents on Nunk Lowell Drive have been without water since 8 Monday morning. We're going to have to travel out of town, going to Opelousas and the other local areas where our family members are to cleanse ourselves and eat and everything. No, we're not going to stand for this. One resident who asked us to conceal her identity says the water was turned off without warning and they still haven't gotten any notice. Common courtesy, they could have left a voice recording on the voicemail saying uh, we'll be without water. We're trying to resolve the issue, but at this point we have not heard anything. KTC reached out to city officials but were unable to get any answers. So I went to the water plant. But even with the lights on and a car parked outside, no one answered. To me, it feels like they have a nonchalant attitude about this, and it seems like they're not doing all that they can to resolve the issue. The sign on the door urges residents to call a number in case of emergency. I'm sorry. But the emergency number gets the callers nowhere but a voicemail. Water company would, you know, feel empathy for us and would, you know, try to work their best to try to get our water on, but it seemed like they don't care as long as they're getting paid. Um, I would cry out to this elderly people on this road, small children, special needs, and we would like someone um, to give us answers to know when the water will be turned back on. In Ardenville, Justice Henderson, KTC TV3. Lafayette.